and welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later for the part two of our sub battle Saturday stream. This is where I play against subscribers all day. I play different decks. They, they bring their cool decks. It's just a whole lot of fun and hope you all uh, enjoy the, the stream. You get to see lots of cool cars and interactions and everything like that. So uh, I am currently up four to one over team chat, but we have our new person that's going to be playing us. We got Joyv is going to be our next can, next uh, opponent here. So Joyv, sign on, send me that gamer tag. And I'm going to spin, spin the wheel. I have this wheel here that I spin to see which deck I'm playing. Oh no. All right, I'm playing Dredge. This is probably not the deck I want to be playing against Joy. Joy always plays some more aggressive decks that hit hard. Not the kind of decks that Dredge wants to face, but we let the wheel decide our fates. All right, so switching out all these these basic lands for the new ones with card styles. And this deck, let's go with this island. All right, so I need six of these, zero of these. OK. Here we go. Dredge. So we are going to self-mill and try to get some phoenixes back. Oh, wait, I did it wrong. Sorry. Got to go to best three. For, like with I just reset arena and everything, so I got to do... All right, challenge match, best of three. Coin flip. Here we go. All right. Let's see what Joey's bringing to the table. Chandra sleeves. Whoa, I don't have any Chandra sleeves. I don't have like a charter course in here, do I? It's so hard for me to mulligan a hand with Drown Secrets. Drown Secrets is the most important card in my deck. It's so important that we're playing these skimming symmetries to find Drown Secrets, but this is like the. No, I'm just keeping this. Yeah, I, I can't mulligan a hand with Drown Secrets. Oh, these Chandra sleeves are sweet. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not updating the the exclamation point deck command. Um, yeah, you can go through and look for the the decks here because I'm playing a different deck every single round, and and that. That'd be kind of difficult to do, um, but that's where all the, the all the decks are. But every every single match, I'm playing a different deck. Okay. All right, I'm gonna target these two target players. Radical idea is a good draw because that's that's like one of my only ways to get rid of a phoenix. If we can start, like if if Joy doesn't kill us before like turn like six, we're good. Kind of surprised to see no Dreadhorde Butcher there. Ugh, poor boss. That thing kills you fast. That's a good draw. Narco Amoeba. Let's get some jellyfish in here. 
Wait, I'll get some cats in this. Looking for land. Cool. Take it. We need a contest to na name the in-game cat. Oh, it's just... No, this is Hawkeye. I was feeling really good about this game after turn two, <laughs> but then turn three, war boss, turn four, butcher. I'm not feeling as good about the game now. So how much is how much are they attacking for? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't really play Jace, can I? Playing Jace is pretty greedy. I think it's my best chance, though. Don't worry. This is all just. I need. I need cards. Always an answer. Specifically, blue card draw spells. You know, I need. I need like. Th you know, I would need to cast like three spells. Oh no! That's game. That's that's twelve. With Judith there. I also need to hit creeping chills. Jace gave me a chance to hit some creeping chills. Alright, too aggressive. I said I need to get to turn five or turn six, and we died on turn four. Yeah, those cards are really good against me. Butcher, War Boss, Judith, those things hit so hard. Especially War Boss. Um, so we're going to bring in Legion's End, Moment of Craving, Ritual of Soot. I guess I have to cut sch Scheming Symmetry. Giving Joy of one of those heavy hitters is kind of rough. We're going to trim one Jace. I gotta trim one other card. Hmm. Kefna. I was going to have some pretty awesome, like, like my next turn was going to be really good, and then my turn six was going to be incredible. But, you know, it takes it takes this deck a little bit of time to get set up. But I had a really good setup there with the two Drown Secrets and the Jace. Yuck. That's fantastic.
I'm expecting another duress for this moment of craving. Since the moment of craving wasn't the take immediately. Get him. Mark it down. 17 to 23, we're winning. That's a lot of burn spells. Go get him, Narcomiba. Go get him. 17 attacks later. Darn. I thought the jellyfish had it. Alright, so we need to find drowned secrets. Deck building. There's drown secrets. I just want to draw Phoenix? No. I guess this is a bad play against Duress. I was just thinking to use like the card that costs more mana right now, like where I could, if I just played the Drown Secrets, you know, I could draw like a, a two mana spell to play after this. There we go. Like, I, I'm gonna wait a turn. No, stop drawing these creatures. I was enjoying life whenever Joy didn't have any of the creatures. Life was better. So I'm waiting a turn because like maybe there's a chance that I, I find three spells for this next turn. Okay, that'll do. That's three spells. I'll get Phoenix back. All right, got another Phoenix. Oh, wait. I forgot about just being able to... Didn't have a... I guess I don't have a Ritual of Sit in here. Wait, should I just Moment Craving this thing? Could Moment Craving this War Boss? I guess I should do that. Yeah, I guess I need to do that. I was planning, so my plan was just go briefing into briefing into opt, and that's three spells there. And I would have milled over a bunch of cards, but I guess I need to just get rid of that war boss.
Yeah, I'm going to hold back the Phoenixes to block the Butcher. Obviously, one of them will die to this Lightning Strike. We'll see if Joyv has another removal spell. Oh, shock. So, yeah. If I would have just attacked with them, they would have died anyway. Cool. Got those burn spells out of there. Oh, no. Ugh. I hope, keep on feeling good about where we're at, and then... That has to happen. Alright, so I could Legion's End. I need one more. I kind of need to draw a land here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Alright, we need to mill over a Creeping Chill or a Narc Amoeba. Either one of those. There's a Narc Amoeba. That's a good blocker. Oh, wait, no. They have Fry. That doesn't block. Never mind. We need, we need another Narc Amoeba. Or a Chill. All right. So we need another one. Darn. That's not either of those. Well, I can't I can't cast it. So it costs four mana. And I have three mana after playing Mission Briefing. So that's one reason why not to choose it. Ugh! No, I need you. Ugh, this is the worst spot for you to be, Creeping Chill. The absolute worst spot. I can't put you on the bottom, can I? So I guess I have to draw this Creeping Chill. I can't I can't have a Creeping Chill in my hand, though. Oh, that's so rude. Twenty-one cards left. Twenty-one cards left. We know a phoenix is sixth. So Fifteen more cards I got to mill before I get to that phoenix. And there's one more chill and one more other phoenix in between there. Take six. No, no attacks. No attacks. Yeah, I got answers for butcher. <clears throat> blocking it. Okay, okay. Now we talking. Yeah, I, I cannot. I can't cast Ritual of Soak because then I die. Love it. That was good. That was a very good milling. Whenever you get down to like the very bottom of your library, I mean, I only had eleven cards left, so, and we already knew we knew these bottom six, so we were gonna hit some good stuff. Uh, 
we're killing Joy of next turn anyway. We could hold a Phoenix back. But we're gonna have like we're gonna have a lot of damage next turn anyway. All right, going to game number three. One on the mold of four. Joy have just had too much removal, not enough threats. I was very happy about that, though. What about you, Hawkeye? Ow. Yeah, the, the dredge games are always so intense. They really are. We... we Drew a lot of mission briefings there, which were so clutch for us. We did a really good job drawing mission briefings. That card's awesome. <laughs> now this is Hawkeye's little kitty. Out of the teamer and Bant Reef decks yesterday, which one do you think is stronger? Probably the teamer deck is stronger. The Bant one's probably a little more consistent. Well, well, what do we do here? So, like we, like I've always talked about, Drown Secrets is is our best card. Mulliganing Drown Secrets is not recommended. But I also have like basically three dead cards in hand. Or, like, three cards I don't want in my hand here. So this is kind of a four-card hand. And we're on the draw with two tap lands to go with the Drown Secrets, where it's, like, Drown Secrets on turn three. I'm going to mulligan, honestly. Okay, rewarded. Get out of here. We'll find a land. Hopefully. I think a land is the only card that's an option to take with this. Hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal, I'd have to say. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to go get him, buddies. Yay. We did see what six cards there? Yeah, so the land was the seventh card. Phoenix. Go get him, buddies. Yep. Yeah. Just too slow here on the draw, playing Drown Secrets on turn three and everything. It's just gonna be too slow. I gotta find land. Don't go get him. <laughs> well, that's that's me being really dead right there.
Wow, there are no lands there. All right, team chat with the win. We put up we put up a good fight though. That's that's like the you know the exact kind of matchup the dread dredge really doesn't want to face at all. We put up a good fight. Okay. All right, four and two. If you are a subscriber, uh, you want to be the next person to battle. I know, Hawkeye, you're in the way. Then type battle in the chat right after the giveaway starts right there. All right, let's see who is up next. GG's there, Joyv. All right. Everybody make sure you get on in there. Yeah, I haven't played Mono Red Crisis since M20 has been out. Are you going to battle next, Hawkeye? Okay. Okay, let's see who's up. Everybody's in there. Radical Guru. All right, Radical Guru, send me that gamer tag. Now I'm going to spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing up next. Mardu. Sweet. Mardu mid range. Where are you at, Mardu? There you are. All right, so this is our Mardu mid-range deck. Got to replace these basics. Let's go with this swamp. No, we'll go. We'll go pillars. Pillar, pillar. Okay. All right, perfect. Oh. All right, if you don't know my gamer tag, there it is. All right, here we go. Make sure you change it to best of three. All right, we got some Marty mid range here. Tithe Taker over Bishop for Flyers deck. Oh, yeah, I think so, honestly. I have not been very impressed with Bishop of Wings in general. Like, Bishop of Wings is awesome whenever you're playing against, like, when I've, if, like, Mono Red is a big part of the metagame, but it's just not. And people just go... People are just doing much more powerful things than what Bishop of Wings is doing. Not the metagame for it. All right, let's see. It's not, you know, like this is not a very good hand because the command of the dread horde isn't doing anything. Let's let's ship it. Okay. All right, here we go. We need to need to draw into lands. You know, we need to get to like Soren and like Daredevil. Plus, ooh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Uh oh. So they're playing probably like the Orzhov Sacrifice deck. Doesn't seem like Daredevil is going to be helping us too much. So I could I could go Daredevil ditch the or sorry Reveler ditch the Daredevil, look for removal. 
Yeah, let's do that. Other option, of course, with just going with the Tithe Taker would be... Um, would be giving me a good creature to sacrifice, but it's not super likely that they're playing two creatures this turn. Obviously, they can. And if that's the case, I can sacrifice the Reveler. No big deal. So I, I could I could play the mountain and then be able to attack him with the knight and they can't block and then I go Tithe Taker second main. But I don't really want to shock. Then then the next turn I'm shocking. I don't really want to do that. What's up, six one nine? All right, we found a removal spell for the priest, but it's going to take another black source. Season 2 of The Dark on Netflix. I don't know anything about that show. Ah, it's a show that messes with your mind. Gotcha. Hey, Striker Bow. Thanks, Striker. Converting your sub there. This is going to be a fun matchup. I'm not usually into like the shows that that kind of mess with your mind and stuff. I don't really like I don't, know, I don't really like shows like that. I don't like scary scary shows either. Alright, so you get to draw three cards, but this is during combat, so probably not able to use this mana. Yeah, this is a sweet matchup, though. That was a really good draw for us. Get that priest out of here. Now I'm going to start bringing back the Tithe Takers. Dead make great minions. Loyal and silent. Yeah, mm. This looks like a fun new toy. Liliana's a good one. Liliana's definitely a good one. Hmm.
embrace the bloodlust. Guess we trade. I don't like that they get to draw cards. Yeah, Soren Daredevil's awesome. Yep, it's a good interaction. Yeah, this deck, this deck takes full advantage of Soren and four mana Johnny bringing these creatures back. They were a lousy servant anyway. So Liana's just gonna wreck me. I need to draw Command the Dread Horde. I just got the one Command the Dread Horde in here. And Graph would be another good draw. And shine. Not want not. There's just nothing for Daredevil to do. your hands first. Smelly, so what what am I gonna have in this sideboard against Liliana? Like Liliana is like definitely the, the card that I'm probably the most scared of. Hey Mr. Thirty Some Yeah, I kind of want another flyer, which is I'm grab grabbing the Tithe Taker to get another flyer out here. Let me lead the charge into darkness. Prepare for battle. Yeah, I can't really beat that one either, Kitty. Brings back Midnight Reaper. Let them draw even more cards. Good chance to update the band pod yesterday. I don't. What? What do you? I don't understand really the question. Six one nine. Update the deck where. Like it's updated on my on my computer here. Oh, in Stream Decker? Okay, yeah. No, no, I don't no, I didn't re repost the deck list. Not today. 
Okay, death. Okay, there you go. I've had I've had has it on MTG Goldfish. There you go. Thanks, I've had. What a good mindless minion. Basically, my only hope, Dead. my only hope is drawing Command the Dread Horde soon before we are out of life. That is my I only hope. Stop this fight, but Which is not I much of a hope. It. But that is my only hope right now. I do have Massacre Girl. I do have a Massacre Girl in the deck, but I mean, it, they just draw a million cards with Massacre Girl. They're gonna be drawing a million cards anyway. Liliana is too strong Shit, for my deck, my light. especially how our opponent's not playing any instants or sorceries that kill Planeswalkers, so I don't get to Daredevil anything. Stop. Just, here, just get down. Yeah, chat's gonna get this game. The, uh, yeah, Hawkeye is perfect. Perfect OP. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Another day, Kirk. Oh wait, there was a Dispark. Anyway. Well, that that does give me to dare I could daredevil to spark now. This is almost certainly too late to do that though. I abhor my need for blood. Yeah, this deck that it, yep, this deck's on stream decker. Uh, it's called Mardu Midrange. Our our opponents play a deck called Orzov Midrange, but there's or Orzov Sacrifice. But Radical Guru has made a couple of changes. Like, I don't have Dispark or Gideon in my deck. No, there's nobody's gonna deck. I'm gonna be dead long before my opponent mills out. Waste not, want not. Yeah, I really like this Orzov deck as well. So I think they should sack the Witness and the Cavalier of Night.
Like, yeah, I would have sacked Witness and Cavalier Knight, get back Playcrafter, sack the Playcrafter. That takes would have taken away two of my things. But it's it's all good. They they got me. Alright, how do I beat Liliana? Hmm. No, or no, Orzhov Enforcer is not better because you do want the one drop. Like the, the fact that Witness costs one mana is really important, allowing you to double spell. Many times, you you actually do just want the one drop. I like how Baffling gets rid of Midnight Reaper. Yeah, that's why I'm going to go Baffling End instead of Legion's End because of Midnight Reaper. And then, yeah, obviously priest, getting rid of Priest is, is good. But yeah, Legion's End is not bad. Other circumstances I'd be bringing it in, but I can't have, can't have a deck just filled with removal. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's better than playing Gideon. That's that's the card that I'm really not sure about. Like if I should have been bringing in or not is the Gideon. Obviously, it doesn't look so good here with only the zero white sources in our hand. Oh, lifelink. I'm supposed to play this first because of lifelink. I always forget about that lifelink. I didn't want my opponent to know about like the other one coming back, you know, whenever they're making decisions and stuff. Saying oops. I'm guessing they need a lot more black mana. As far as the oops is concerned. They only had double black spells. Alright, probably not getting on the draw. Eh, maybe one Gideon, one Legion's End. Yeah, on the draw, I need to be more focused on like having Mask Girl, Kai's Wrath, that kind of stuff in my deck. Maybe instead of one of these, a Johnny's. 
Maybe play a Wrath. All right, let's try this. Yeah, that's one thing I think Rocko Guru kept a risky hand and Gladiator and then 300. That'll be a long night. Gladiator's a long movie. I haven't seen either of those movies in a really long time. Yeah, Grasp does kill Gideon and Soren, but that's pretty narrow. If it if Grasp killed Liliana, it would definitely be in. Alright, Temple of Skrylance. It's my favorite temple. I don't have any Temple of Skrylances over here. Nor Temple of Skryumphs. No temples. Crafter. Sack the Reaper. Now we bring the Reaper back. I taste your neck. You taste my blade. I require your body, not your soul. Darn. That was not the card. That was the card I did not want them to play. Ow. Because of that. Um. I understand you're seeing yourself what I see in you. Familiar with pain. Definitely saving this for Liliana. What a mess I've made. Mm, only the two black sources. Ugh. Can't play Choops and Knight. Well, maybe. We'll see what we draw. The Choops is going to die here. We kill Cavalier. Cavalier brings back Plague Crafter. Be interesting to see if they just sacrifice the Soren, because if they sack the Plague Crafter, then I get to kill Soren. Yeah, just. I am not spending this to spark on anything but a Liliana. Cool. I was definitely considering... I was just definitely considering playing Reveler, discarding Knight... And then, and then minusing and getting the knight back. Certainly consideration. 
My army will envelop this one that's reduced to shambles. Find a use for you later. <laughs> hmm. If they have another Liliana, no, I just I still just spark this. If they have another one and tick up on it. Death won't conquer me so easily. You should fear those born of darkness. I demand servitude. All right, threatening a Johnny Ultimate. I will lend you my strength. Yeah, uh, no, both, both players are playing different decks. Everybody, yeah, everybody, yeah. Uh, I bring my deck to the match, and the opponent brings their deck to the match. Card's good. They're down to three. So they can have Chupacabra kill one of my creatures and then Cavalier Knight kill the other. And they did it in the correct order, so I'm only going to draw one card. This is a rough time to use Kai's Wrath, because again, if I if I Kai's Wrath, then they get Playcrafter back and have to sack one of these one of these planeswalkers. Yeah, command the dread horde. It's kinda messed up in that way. Look how far you've come. I'm going to keep threatening a Johnny Ultimate. Yeah, drawing, obviously drawing just even more lands, really not ideal. We really didn't need lands 9 and 10.
Oh, what a great card for our opponent here. For the same reasons why I really did not want Takaya's Wrath last turn, Kaya's, basically Kaya's Wrathing, you know, playing Mask of Girl for our opponent was awesome. I'm becoming irritated. Time for a drink. And I set it up by playing the Tithe Taker and not putting a counter on the Tithe Taker. I, I didn't. You, I didn't really consider Mask of Girl too much. I, no, I wish I would have put a counter on that Tithe Taker. Dang, we had this in the bag. By we, I mean me. I had this in the bag until that Command the Dread Horde. And I'd love to find my own Command the Dread Horde. should be proud to have come so far. We still need you. Not a bad turn. Your light will cleave the darkness. Need to draw command the dread horde. Just gonna try to keep my life total high. Farewell. Nope, another land. Pretty good back and forth game there though. That command the dread horde card is pretty messed up. And yeah, yeah, back yeah, Black Cavalier. Awesome, awesome card there too. If I if I would have brought in Masker Girl instead of if I would have had Masker Girl instead of no Masker Girl wouldn't have helped me. No, it was really it was really that that Tithe Taker that I played that that really killed me. GG's Rackle Guru, GG's. All right, so if you are if you want to be up next and try to tie this thing up to be 4-4 type battle in the chat of course just for subscribers <laughs> I don't even remember game 2 but I don't remember alright let's see who is up next on this sub battle Saturday I'll be spinning the wheel to decide what deck I'm playing up next All right, let's see who's up. I guess there's still a couple more people getting in.
Uh, sorry, Chris, just for subscribers. Let's try again. Storm. All right, Storm, you're up. Send me that gamer tag. Here's my gamer tag. And I'll be spinning the wheel here, letting the wheel decide what deck am I playing. Four Color Legends. All right, this is the deck that we played yesterday. So let's check this one out. So Four Color Legends is our Kethis deck. Didn't get to do too much with it. <laughs> no, of course not, Radical Guru. <laughs> no, I didn't like that Masker Girl. That Masker Girl was mean. I didn't like the command the Dread Horde even more. So yeah, we got a Kethis deck here. Pretty cool little deck. I did, yeah, I couldn't draw my command the Dread Hordes any game. I was that was like the card that I was trying to draw every single game. Never found it. Man, you had yours in game one too. I mean, yeah, I'd, I had a main deck one, but I had one, you know, one main, one side. So, I'd, but I didn't see it in in any game. Lazav, you're killing me over here. Gotta switch you up. Get out of here, Lazav. Let's go to Moo. I haven't used Moo yet. Can you? You can't select which one, which pet you want yet, huh? And you can't change the color. Oh, you're welcome. Glad you're enjoying the deck. Absolutely. All right, we got a, a pretty sweet deck here. Kethis. Team chat, you're catching up to me. This is a big game here. Either going down or either getting back to back to being tied or getting back up to the two match lead. Hello. So the good part about Discovery and four color decks is you only either need uh, black or blue to be able to cast it. We have blue. Even though we don't have black, we still have blue, so we get to cast Discovery. All right, taking the card I can't cast anyway. I'm fine with that. Narset, you're awful. <laughs> Just whiffing. I'll protect you. I won't forget our time together. Hmm. 
Those are pretty good. Do I want like another Othakaya? Yeah. Storm's down to just two cards over there. Trust me. Of course, I'm hoping no big to fairy. Cool. So now we need to choose between big to fairy or oath. Oath kill this one and as Kanta. Time for a break. I'm playing Big Teferi. Big Teferi is awesome. Don't worry, I got this. I know my responsibility. Well, now I got oath to kill their big fairy. Take it back. So that works. Planned it out. I really should have seen that coming. That works. I've got time. Sure. Hmm. So we know that Kefnet would just be revealing the big to fairy. Would I rather play Little Teferi? I mean, still having a Kefnet in play. What does Storm have over there? Probably like Tyrant Scorns. Yeah, probably Tyrant Scorn. All right, I'll play this thing. Sorry, I'm late. I know I can bounce my own Othakaya, but I'm just going to get rid of this thing. Yeah, they could have their they could have more oats over there also. I've got it. I know my responsibility. More little fairies, makes sense. Here goes nothing. No. Is that better than just bouncing the Othakai and having Othakai kill other Teferi? Oh I guess I guess so if you want to thought razor it away. More like it. I won't. We need to move quickly. I'm not even going to untap my lands. I can't do anything on their turn anyway because of the Teferi. No, I am not making this up as I go. Boo. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Storm has his own Legion then.
This might be a bad idea. Yeah, this this is looking kind of like Esper Control. That's more like it. Certainly, the cards that we drawn are the Esper Control stuff. But you never know whenever we're gonna just like top deck a this isn't a fight Kamal's Juridic Valve and go crazy. Hurry. You never know. You think I should don't no reveal to storm? <laughs> That's just a dead card. And that's also true. I can't cast it anyway because little Teferi. That's also true. I've got it. Ooh, Kethis. This is hardly my worst defeat. All right. So I get rid of. I want to play Oath and Narset. Or no, do I want to play as Kanta? Can I exile this Ruinous Blast from my hand? So obviously one Oath is getting exiled. And then what, like Teferi? Yeah. Now what? Play other oath. Kill this thing. Only time will tell. And play as Kanta. Kanta's a sweet. That was a good turn. No, should have grabbed Narset. Oh, that's not a good auto tap. I guess I'm gonna have to shock. Alright, so just got that thing out of my hand so I could exile it. So I can replay these things. Yeah, not a good auto tap. Ran out of blue sources. I should have paid attention to that. But there we go, Kethis. Man, Kethis is sweet. Just let me replay all those cards after that really long grindy game. Aqua Teen Hunger Force with a Twitch Prime sub. Keep it on. That streak. Thank you so much for that resub there. Make sure y'all get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Well, for our resub, that's what I meant. And sub number four on the day. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Gideon, Gideon. Hero, hero, hero. Um, Grasp. Soren. Get rid of Blast, Blast. And where shall I? Mox Amber. I know these heroes are going to be any good. Yeah, I don't play hero.
Hmm. All right, I'll try two heroes. Okay, awesome. Glad, yeah, glad you're enjoying the Vanfar list. Yeah, that that was a really, really fun one. Uh, correct. Yeah, this is not the list on Stream Decker. Uh, I'm not. I'm not updating them. You can you can find the the list here. Well, close. There's like two changes, but you can find them in there. Basically, I'm with the sub battle stream today. I'm playing a different deck every single round, and so I'm not. It's just kind of time consuming to go through and change the deck list command every single round. I I show the deck before the match, but that's what I'm that's what I'm doing there. Go, Harrow, go. Harrow. Precinct one. Yuck. This is gonna come to play tapped. Um. My prowess is keep an open mind. Should have a pretty good turn next turn with Kethis Thought Erasure. Oh no, I don't have I don't have an I don't have enough black sources for that. Green and black. I can't actually do both of those. Maybe I should have grabbed the Teferi. I could have gone Kethis Teferi. Next turn, bounce the Guard Mage. It's like, it's just like Guard Mage is not a card that I really want to be bouncing. Doesn't feel like. My mind Ow. needs a rest. All right, well, now I can do that. Now I can go Thought Erasure cut this. Jeez. All sorts of stuff. Well, I took their best card, the Teferi. Darn, so now they get to double removal with Grasp Mortify here. I was hoping it was just single removal. Not even killing the hero, letting me. Let me get more one ones. Whoa, prep coin. Getting that gift itself from Santa Boot. Wait, where's there's the Santa emote? Thank you, Boot. Awesome. Prep coin gets to join in on our sub battle stream now. Love it.
So I'll have three mana. So if I if I play cat this. I honestly just don't know how this works. Like, if I play Kethys, and then I do this ability, exile the two things from the graveyard, and then and my opponent kills Kethys, you know, like if Kethys gets contempted. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Don't worry. I got this. If Kethis gets contempted, do I I still get to play the things even if Kethis dies? Okay, I wasn't sure, honestly. What's up, Project Vanner? Good evening. <clears throat> well, that was a lot better showing for the our Kethis deck than what we had yesterday when we played the deck. We only got to play it against vampires. Okay, they won't be cheaper. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, Storm didn't... <laughs> just didn't want to kill that hero. You just never killed the hero, and the hero made too many tokens. You know, could have killed it. Like, whenever you killed that Kethis, I would have had a couple less tokens. But just didn't... Didn't kill the hero. Um, all right, so that's so it's five three. That's gonna conclude part two of our sub battle stream. We're gonna be right back for part three. If you're watching it later on YouTube, don't forget click on over to part three and see if Team Chat can can you can continue their comeback here. Uh, but there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for part three.